Okay, so welcome back and uh, continue showing you some of the, the features and functions of Power Pivot. I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, on the formatting because I assume you're already familiar with Excel. You know, like I said, you can you can go in and you have all the Excel functionality available to you, so you can come in and you know format cells, change the numbers. And I don't want to take up a, a, a whole lot of time doing this. You can also come in. We can come in and we can say, let's sort. Do things of that nature. We can come up here and we can expand and collapse. So we can set the defaults. As you saw earlier when I first created the pivot table, the default was to expand have everything expanded by default and we can collapse everything that way. So I'll show you a couple other things with the actual pivot. We can create what's called slicers, vertical and horizontal slicers. I'll show you a vertical slicer here. So for example, uh, let's say I want to filter by uh, my label here. Oh also I can come in and I can change the, the label. of that nature. Well, let's create a slicer based on the vehicle class. So I just drag the vehicle class down in and it creates this thing called a slicer for me so I can kind of filter the data at that level which is kind of sweet. And I can clear things. I can come in and I can create a just like I normally would with Excel. I can come in and I can create a, a chart. And I've already done this, so when I do it, you'll see it's already a done deal. And then uh, I'm just going to go off and save my file here. And we'll call it AutoStats. Let's see here. Under education, I think I have a for power pivot. I do. And I want to show you something. So we'll, we'll go out to the, the, uh, the file system here. And let's just actually close this out. And this actually stores not only my spreadsheet, but the data that's associated with the spreadsheet. And it does it in a high compression format. Now I want to take a, a moment and kind of sidebar. I told you in the first video that you can load up hundreds of millions of rows into this thing. It, it really is limited by the amount of memory and your and your footprint. Now having said that, to save some of you some system crashes, you only want to load large volumes of data on a 64-bit machine. So if you have, like this laptop is a 64-bit Windows machine with 4 gig of memory, I can easily load 100 million rows in it. Uh, you know, I can't have 50 other applications running, but it'll handle it. If you were to try to load that on a 32-bit machine, irrespective of how much memory you have, it's gonna your your PC is just gonna lock up. But but pretty pretty cool. So anyway, I'm gonna open it up again, and the data is actually stored with the spreadsheet in a highly compressed way. And so let's say for this example that I'm getting feeds of this data to whatever the location was that we initially picked it up from. So the file is being replaced weekly with fresh data. All I really need to do when I open up the spreadsheet is go back to 
the power pivot window. and click refresh. Or once I open it up, depending on how I have the default set, it'll refresh the data for me. And so I think you've, I've, I've shown you now, well, let's not do that right now, guys. So I think I've shown you in a pretty short period of time just how powerful this tool is. We've just scratched the surface, but hopefully you've got a feel of how easy it is to create pivot tables and grab data. So I hope you got some mileage out of this. I hope you're as excited as I am about this tool and how you can use it as part of your BI reporting spectrum. And so I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.